One of the most difficult things about a URCP, of course, is achieving deep cannulation of the desired duct. In a certain percentage of cases, it will fail, often due to anatomic reasons that are beyond the control of the endoscopist. It's important to explain this to the patient before the procedure that the success rate of the procedure is high, but not 100%. Another procedure might be necessary. An alternative means of accessing duct may be necessary. But when attempting cannulation, if we're very lucky, we can cannulate in two minutes. Um, sometimes it will take 30 minutes or 40 minutes to get uh, deep cannulation. However, there's a fine line between persistence and going to plan B or plan C. So I'm a believer that um, I will use my usual wire guided techniques to try to obtain uh, deep cannulation, but if this does not seem to be working, I'm very early thinking about will there be a need for needle knife access. Needle knife access is an advanced technique, uh, however extremely important to raise the cannulation success from about 80% to over 90-95%. Without needle knife papillotomy for biliary access, those high levels of success really cannot be achieved. Learning needle knife sphincterotomy um, can be hard. It takes uh, experience. Um, people who were lucky enough to train in advanced endoscopy fellowship hopefully will have some exposure to needle knife sphincterotomy. Needle knife sphincterotomy is achieved with a special device called a needle knife sphincter tome. Very similar to a Boeing sphincter tome except it just has a small needle that comes out which is electrified. Needle knife sphincterotomy can be done in the so-called freehand style where there's no pancreatic stent in place or it can be done after pancreatic stent placement. The advantages of doing it after pancreatic stent placement is it uh, pancreatic stent placement seems to limit the incidence of post ERCB pancreatitis. However, it can be safely accomplished even without prior placement of a pancreatic stent. Most of the studies seem to indicate that post ERCP pancreatitis associated with needle knife sphincterotomy is really a result of multiple efforts trying to achieve cannulation and not the needle knife itself. So at some point, one needs to decide this plan A is not working, I need to move to plan B. In some cases, plan B may mean to stop the procedure, bring the patient back on another day, have your partner do it, have someone else give a try. So persistence is useful to a point, but over persistence is a recipe for post-ERCP pancreatitis.